Drivers haven't been shy about being fed up with gas prices. Four years ago, I was paying $2.27 a gallon of gas. Today, I'm paying $3.86. After peaking at $5 per gallon in June of 2022, gas prices have dropped and stabilized as U.S. oil production is back to record highs. The Monday before Election Day, a gallon averaged $3.06. On the campaign trail, President-elect Trump promised to cut energy prices by at least half within a year of taking office. To achieve this rapid reduction in energy costs, I will declare a national emergency to allow us to dramatically increase energy production. You know what we're going to do. We're going to drill, baby, drill. Gas Buddies Patrick DeHaan says it's not that simple. The president can declare an emergency. That doesn't mean oil companies are going to respond to it. There's still plenty of opportunity for oil companies to raise production, and that's why I don't think it's very feasible that the president would really be able to do much uh, to cut energy prices in half. The CEO of ExxonMobil said this about Trump's promise to drill, baby, drill. I'm not sure what those policies actually are. We're looking at the most economic investment levels to produce the oil and to generate the returns for our shareholders. Republican presidents generally tend to be friendlier to oil and gas companies through deregulation. But as DeHaan and other experts point out, it can take years to notice differences in those kinds of policy changes. What could have a more immediate impact on supply is stricter enforcement of oil sanctions on Iran. Even if the president uh, elect decides to remove Iran's oil production from the global market, there is ability for that to be fulfilled uh, by other countries, including OPEC and Saudi Arabia. Global oil markets can move prices at your local gas pump, but that's not stopping soon to be President Trump from insisting his executive reach can bring them down. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar for the National News Desk, America's News Now.